another problem on formal language. Now see, we solved one problem in our previous video. This problem is having a slight variation of that. Let us come to the problem. Determine the grammar G where L of G is equal to WC WT. We know the WT means transpose of W. That means whatever the uh, symbols are there in W, W of T will be having the same symbol but in the reverse order. Where W belongs to A comma B whole plus. So that means at least one A or one B will be there in W. So W cannot be null. If it is star, then W can be null. But if it is plus, so W should have at least one A or at least one B. So while answering questions in your exams, please look very carefully regarding this particular problem given and the definitions and constraints given. Okay, then you should go for the production rules. So let me write the production rules. So I know that in this case, the minimum string which can be formed is A C A or say B C B because if it is W then this is my W of T if it is W then it will be W of T ok so in this way I can easily uh, I can easily derive this one that means that is a minimum string which you can have ok so how to write this one S produces A S A that means both side A will be there always that will be a balancing and then we shall go for B S B same logic. So whenever a B will be formed on the left hand side another B will be formed on the right hand side and then the minimum string will be A C A or B C B. So that is my productions ok. So I cannot make any string containing only one C it is not possible. Because if you apply this production rule for the first time, that means S produces A C A, then also A will be there and another A will be there as W and W T as I have discussed here. So now let us write the grammar. So G is equal to, so in this way we have defined this particular grammar A S A B S B. A C A and B C B in this way. I think now you are getting the logic how to write the respective grammar. Thanks for watching this video.